All right, today we are looking at the Badger 155 Anthem, and we're gonna be disassembling and reassembling it. The first thing that I do is usually print out a diagram of what I'm gonna be taking apart. That'll help along the process. There's one available on Badger website, and then if you just type in Badger 155 Anthem instructions, uh, you'll see it there. So we're gonna to wanna to work on the uh, tip side assembly first. But uh, the instructions state that it's uh, quite important to loosen the needle chuck and partially retract the needle when you're um, replacing the paint tip. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to take the chuck, loosen it, pull it back slightly, or enough to clear the, uh, um, the paint tip. So this is going to be the first piece that we take off, the very tip. And it's a general purpose regulator. I'm just going to set that aside. Uh, then we're going to continue with the head, and that's right here. And I'm going to put these in a direction that follows the diagram so I can reassemble it a little bit easier. All right, and then the next part is the paint tip. This is a general purpose paint tip, and if you see there, I kind of moved it a little bit. That could have potentially damaged the needle if it was there. All right, and then the next thing I want to take off is the Pro Section Series cutaway handle, which is right here. And technically, I take the needle with it, but I'm going to leave that in for right now, so it keeps the trigger in. All right, now I'm going to pull out the needle. And you generally want to, if it's really dirty, you can push it forward a little bit and clean it with some alcohol before pulling it back because there is a, um, a bearing in there. And you don't want to get that full of paint. And there's also some components along the way. So generally, you just keep it clean. All right, then we're going to take off the entire tube shank and then we're going to disassemble that as we continue. So we're going to unscrew it from the back. All right, and then inside of this is going to be the needle tube, which is right here. But we can't actually take that off until we remove the needle chuck. All right, then we're going to continue with this and take off the spring screw, which is right here. This actually controls the tension of uh, the return trigger on your airbrush. You don't really want to set the tension from this part, by not screwing it all the way, you want to set it right here. All right, and I'm gonna put that right here, and then coming out, the needle will fall out if there's not gunk all over it. And then I'm just gonna set this down here. And then that's, this is gonna be your needle spring, or your needle tube spring. Now I'm gonna remove the trigger and it's just gonna come right out. Yep. Because uh, the needle's no longer there. And then this is gonna be the back lever. It's kinda in there. <laughs> Could be fun to get out. All right, it came out pretty easy. All right, and then this is the, oh, this is obviously the cup. And then this is a quick disconnect piece that I have uh, for my particular hoses. It's not in the diagrams. Uh, let's go ahead and let that go. Okay, uh, then this piece right here, with the exception of this, is the uh, shell with the needle bearing. And All right, so I'm gonna take off the valve casing. Whoop. <laughs> no part won't fly. And then if you look on the back, uh, this piece, I'm not sure if there's a special tool or not, but I just used a hex key or an Allen wrench. And that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be part number 50015 valve screw. And then if you just, and then inside of here is there a plunger and O-ring. I'm just gonna tap that out too. I'm not gonna take off the O-ring here, and I'm also not gonna take off the O-ring here in fear that I may damage them. 
Inside the body itself, there is a bearing. It's part number 50046. I would not recommend messing with that. You can send it to Badger. Badger's extremely good about um, repairing their airbrushes or customer service. I've never had a problem with them. So that would be a consideration. I wouldn't personally mess with it myself based on how good their help has been. Um, all right, so let's begin the reassembly again. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the plunger in and then follow that up with the uh, needle plunger spring. And then I'm going to put the uh, valve screw on. And mine's loose enough where well, I can just do a finger. And then this should be able to move uh, because of the spring. If it's jammed or busted or something, you can just order a whole new valve part or you can just order the plunger. All right, or I'm um, sorry, the individual parts. Uh, then we can reassemble the valve casing to the body and the threads are very tiny so it could be a little bit tricky at first and I do everything touch tight like uh, the instruction manual actually tells you how to tighten them so I would go to that for that all right and then uh, you can put this in now or it's actually what the instructions say to do but I'm gonna hold off on the trigger and the needle um, until after I install the, uh, the shaft. So I'm going to grab the shank. Shank, shank, right here. And then I'm gonna re start reassembling this with the needle tube, the spring screw, and the uh, shank itself. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna drop the, the spring in and then tighten. And then this is gonna adjust your uh, tension. So, the shank into the air. You do that by loosening or tightening the shank into the airbrush. All right, so that's in. We're gonna go ahead and connect the shank into the uh, body. And I'm gonna go all the way, but I'm not gonna force anything. I'm just doing touch tight. All right, and then see here, you can adjust the spring tension. All right, and now I'm actually gonna put the chuck on. That'll give me something to uh, leverage it while I pull this back. I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna drop the uh, back lever in and then I'm gonna put the trigger in. This can part can be very, very tricky. and I usually take a while on it. All right, I think I have it there. And then I'm gonna reinsert the needle. All right, then I'm gonna back it up. And now I'm gonna put the paint tip with the needle backed up Then I'm gonna put the, um, the head. Then I'm gonna put the regulator. I'm gonna advance the needle. Don't push too hard. You can bend the brass piece with the paint tip. Lock it in, touch tight. Oh, looks like this is not all the way tight. Go ahead and fix that. All 
and just doing the different tensions. Then I'm going to put the handle. And then I'm going to uh, re-put my quick connect. Then my cup. And when I store mine, since I don't have a cover, I back the needle up so it doesn't bend. That's what I do personally.